Okay, we are good for Patreon. We are good for Patreon. All right, guys, welcome to the spoiler review for Shang Chi: Legend of the Ten Rings. Uh, before you get into this video, guys, if you this is a spoiler, this is a spoiler. So please stay away. If you don't want to get spoiled, don't look at this video. <laughs> look away. <laughs> Um, welcome to the video. My name is Matthew B. Haynes, and this is my fiance, Shannon, aka Cosmic Pinks. And like I said, we're here to talk about Shang Chi. Um, so I don't even know where to begin. We're just gonna go right into this thing, guys. Uh, <laughs> if you want to hear our, our initial thoughts and our general thoughts for the film, check out the last video. Yeah, because um, we're probably just gonna talk about all the spoilers in this one. Yeah, we're just gonna just dive right into the spoilers, honestly. So, first of all, bro, the fighting. As a matter of fact, before I even go, you go. You talk. Oh, no, I was with you, so. First things first. That scene on the bus. That oh, really, my, yo, the bus scene? That really set the tone for everything. I yeah. knew it was going to be crazy from there on out. Yes. Because in the trailer, like, it looked crazy. But then when they were fighting on the bus and oh, the it, man. It's even crazier. It's crazier. Like, you saw, man, the way how he was moving, and, like, it reminded me of, like, the Jackie Chan films, but on steroids. Like, <laughs> it was, like, amazing. And we're going to be jumping around all over the place, bro. Yeah. Bro. There's just so much to cover that it's, like... Hey, shut up, my man, Morris. Isn't it Morris? More, yeah, Morris. Or, or, or something, Riss. Yeah, Morris. Isn't it Morris? Yeah, Morris. Man, Trevor Slattery, bro. <laughs> my name's Trevor. <laughs> Actor. <laughs> then the fact that he just befriended Morris, right? Right, and he was like his translator. Yeah, bro, I love how they you how they like totally retcon the whole like, um, uh, Mandarin thing. Yeah, and they kind of like, give a little explanation to it, and like, oh, we go by many names, we go by many names, and like and that's one of the things I like too because the fact that uh, Shang Chi's father's name. He he has like three or four different fathers depending on the comic book run, mm -hmm. um throughout his throughout the life so throughout his life so Mandarin wasn't one of them which is an interesting take because the Mandarin wasn't technically his father in the comic books but they used the Mandarin and the Mandarin storyline if you see her yawning guys we're recording this a little late yeah it's like she's she is yawning <laughs> she when she starts yawning guys she does not stop yeah she's just keeps like, <sighs> yeah it's I don't know why it's very hard for me to stop. I don't know, man. I don't but know. I, I, try, I try to cover my mouth when I'm yawning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, no. We also, we also kind of like yell loud just because like it's late. But yeah, like, it's past uh, quiet hours. It's past, so. yeah, it's past, it's past noisy hours. Um, but no, it was it was really interesting. I love that they use like again like so many different storylines from the comic books, like with his sister and mm -hmm. maybe possibly the Five Weapons Society towards the end of the film and the end credits, possibly. And can we talk? I mean, we're jumping around the end credit scene. Okay, all right. Let's keep it. Let's let's keep it. Let's keep it somewhat. Yeah. Stable. Yeah, somewhat concise. Okay. <laughs> the fight scene. I think the one that's my favorite is outside the window. Yeah. On the bamboo, like yes, uh, scaffold stuff. Yes, that one was insane. Especially when um Katie yeah was falling down. And he was just when he was just going towards her. Ooh. Man, he was not like stop. He's like, I'm my friend ain't dying today. He just, thought. Zoom, yeah. Like a man gonna kill a fish on a mission. Like he was just <laughs> moving, bro. Like he was not he was not stopping. So No, that part was crazy. Yeah, absolutely love that part. Beautiful. And man, the music, just like the way how they executed. I mean, I love what they did with the ten rings, bro. Like how they actually use the Ten Rings. Like, the f opening sequence of my man was just going off and, like, swinging. Yeah. It. It's like, like, yo, bro, I wanted to scream. I know. The theater was so quiet. We were, we were just over here, like... Yeah, like, we're both over here, like... <laughs> like, nerding out. <laughs> nerding out in the corner, bro. <laughs> and then the whole theater was just quiet and just, like... <laughs> they were quiet except for the one a-hole at the end of the, at the, at the, end of the, the movie one. that was just loud and rude for no reason just like, like oh guys don't leave don't leave like don't leave, everybody like, knows yeah. if they leave then who cares that's on them yeah like anyway you know it's always that one dude that just be talking mad loud for no reason that's one of the things bro like 
I, 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 I miss going to the theaters, but I don't. Yeah. Cause like I've been enjoying watching movies in the comfort of my home yeah. on my ultra wide monitor, just enjoying life, bro. Like, <laughs> and then like on the t on the four K TV in the living room, bro. Like I just been enjoying life like that. Like it's mm-hmm. been good chilling. But then you know you gotta go out your way to go to the theater, which was fine. It was good. The RPX was nice. The, yeah. The big wide monitor was great. It was good. It was a good feeling to be back. It, it was. But you know, but it's also bittersweet. People, people yeah. <laughs> like, I don't. I don't like being around so much people. Yeah. So. But, but yeah. Yeah. Um, going back to like the fight scenes though, the end fight. The end fight. Which fight though? With the dragon versus the dragon, or Shang Chi versus his father? Shang Chi versus his father. Oh, beautiful. That was beautiful. Oh my god, the little ring ball mm-hmm. Rasengan that he did was. <laughs> I have one particular part in mind, and it's when he's like covered by like the smoke and everything, and then mm. just comes out mm-hmm. with the all the, all the ten rings. Yeah. yeah, that scene was so beautiful. Mm-hmm. That, oh, that mm-hmm. made me so excited. The way how they just use the dollies of the cameras, bro, like in, in the fights, it's just great. Uh, you can tell that Sibu did a lot of his stunts on his own. Yeah. You can tell when the stunt double did things, but you can also tell like a lot of the stunts that he did on his own. Yeah. Some of them. And like it was super entertaining, bro. Like, bro, this movie's on 10. Absolutely loved it, bro. And like the one scene that I would say was a negative for me though, and mm-hmm. I maybe might have been the angle we were sitting in, or maybe it was just but like I feel like the dragon fight at the end was a little hard to make out at certain scenes mm-hmm. just because i don't know if you had no i yeah it was a, it was a little hard to make out from time to time because everything was going like super fast yeah it was a lot of like water and like blurriness and just like mm-hmm. every other scene was fine there were a few shots here and there that you couldn't make out the yeah. action it and could, that's my it could only have just been where we were sitting too because we we're kind of sitting like On in like butter corner in the front like at an angle so we we're kind of looking up this way you were kind of looking like yeah like that instead of like straight like we weren't up to the front we were far back enough that we didn't have to look up too much right but just but... like up front enough where it's like you know it's like kind of in your face yeah so i mean but it was still like we still see everything for yeah. the most part it was in growth like it was still good like shoot i would rather be over there than be in the middle with all them coughing people in the back so many bro there was so many people like we went with our mask on and junk like we're vaccinated y'all and it was still we still went out with our mask our face Thank shield you. we risked it for shang chi bro so yeah <laughs> there's only certain movies i'm willing to risk it for shang chi eternals and spider-man all the other ones it can just we can wait just for video marvel on demand movies. yeah this is the marvel and the marvel and dc movies when they drop but like yeah. for the most part which is I personally love HBO Max. So this is the same day releases on HBO Max. Yes. I can just enjoy that at home. <laughs> I feel like I enjoy the experience more at home now. Yeah. Now that we actually have that experience, yeah. you know, like I do love going to the movie theaters and everything. But ever since COVID, it's just kind of like yeah. it's been stressful. Like yeah, it's been stressful just having a prep and. You know, because some people, look, I know everybody has different opinions on this whole COVID thing, and you're entitled to it, but for those who take it seriously, it can be stressful. Mm-hmm. Um, Just trying to prep and just make sure that you're safe and that you're not, you know, around too many, like, sneezing and coughing people. And yeah, especially now that a lot of people aren't wearing masks. Mm-hmm. So. So, that's the one thing. It's not like the same in the theater where you can be next to, like, eight people in a row and it wouldn't matter because everyone right. is just there enjoying the film nah bro like it's different now so it's just a little it's a little weird like i said it was good being back today but it was also weird yeah i would have honestly if they released it on premiere access Probably i would have watched it we, most likely would have watched it here and did a reaction to it yeah. here. so and still enjoyed it because we were just watching the trailer again before this to kind of just get us back into in the hype mode yeah like we were just watching the trailer again. I'm like, bro, and like this would have looked nice on this on this monitor. Yeah. Like no, it would have looked good at home. Yeah. So to each their own. I don't know. Like COVID has definitely changed my perspective of viewing films mm-hmm. now. Um, and I'm definitely like low key, just like I've just been enjoying just not being around annoying people. And like like for some movies, I feel especially if Endgame had come out during COVID. Oh. I would have missed that hype. Oh, yeah. Because that movie, like, really changed, like, my movie watching experience. Yeah. Because that was the only, like, where I'm from, 
people don't really care as much about you know marvel movies like they do but like not as much as where we saw it where because so now we, now guys obviously we live together now so where i lived previously before this location um where we lived it was everybody was hype like it was crazy yeah. when we saw i'm gonna just tell you like like I didn't live in this state, I didn't live in this area, but we went to go see um we went to go see uh End what's it called game. Endgame in Staten Island. Mm-hmm. Right? And it was hype. It was hype yeah. over there in Staten Island. It was crazy. But it was it was that's the thing about it. Everyone was hype, but it wasn't an annoying hype. Yeah, it wasn't an annoying. Everybody it was, was respectful like, of yeah. the moment. Like everybody was excited, but like when certain scenes came they were quiet enough to listen yeah. and like the end credit well there wasn't any end credits but like um before all of that like everything every moment was just you can hear a pin drop in certain scenes mm-hmm. like when cap was like didn't know what to do before you know uh sam flew out mm-hmm. you can hear a pin drop yeah and then right? as soon as all that happened everyone was when he was like on your left yeah you know like everybody's like, yeah. like instant screams in this theater bro like you have like I'm gonna just say, it, bro, it's hella white people, and like, bro, some and some of them they just there, and then like they would be quiet for certain scenes, and then when they're loud, they're arrogantly, annoyingly yeah. loud. I'm, nothing against, again, nothing against white people. It's just the hood we live in right now. Yeah, the people that's here is just a little, a little, a little. They they don't know how to pay their moments. <laughs> like they don't know how to pay their moments, bro. Like, it, it, anyways, but back to Shang Chi, bro. Um, yeah. It's just the movie theater experience in general has just been really different. No, it definitely has been. It's just been different. Like, I mean, even I hated going to the movie theaters for certain things because of the people anyways. Yeah. But, I mean. I don't miss that. Yeah. That's just. If I can buy a theater out by myself, I would, yeah. <laughs> I would choose that over being around people. Yeah. I just don't. If like only we had, being around people. <laughs> if only we had enough friends to just split it all up, especially in the area. Yeah, like if I'm with my friends, it's different, you know. But like for the most part, honestly, guys, I have done this before. Um, before I met before I met Shannon, I used to go to the movies like three, four days a week. I had the, a- the AMC A list uh, pass, and I would go to the movies like three times a week by myself. Not only for and I I enjoyed it. Like, dude, the old ass is lonely. What happened to the laughing with your friends? Nah, bro. Like, when I'm in, trust me, you can ask shit. Like, sometimes I might whisper a joke or two yeah. to her, but 90% of the time when I'm watching a movie, I'm paying attention. Like, I'm mm-hmm. there to take it all in. I'm not there to have a conversation with you. Yeah. We're going to talk when the movie done. Yeah, especially a big movie like this. Yes. Like, if it's something, like, stupid or something. Yeah, like, like a little stupid movie you go on a little date yeah. with. You know, you go on a date to watch some stupid comedy film or whatever yeah then you're on a obviously Tinder date. it's not like yeah. you know serious and yeah. then, like you know jokes or whatever but yeah we're not like super paying attention like yeah but sometimes even for those stupid comedy movies i'd be getting in there though because i'm like i'm trying to actually focus yeah. on the plot <laughs> man shoot, i paid my hard on 15 dollars on that ticket i'm finna enjoy it. so <laughs> they're so expensive though yeah they're expensive now bro like at least it's cheaper. Well, at least RPX is cheaper than Dolby Cinema. Even though nothing, nothing, in my opinion, guys, like where I used to live, AMC Dolby, nothing for standard commercial theaters. Nothing beats the Dolby experience. Like Never IMAX said. is cool, RPX at Regals is cool, but it doesn't come anywhere close to the Dolby experience. The Dolby theaters, bro, the recliners hit different. Yeah, it's wide. Wish I wish I could. You know, sharing the that experience sound, with the you. colors are, and you know, well, maybe we'll, when we One go day. back, we'll go visit. But like the contrast and the colors, oh, bro, I loved you, watching stuff in Dolby. You live a privileged, privileged life. A privileged movie theater experience. Yes. Dolby be hitting different. The sounds, the screen, the big man, bro, I miss it. And like that's the one thing I do miss is the Dolby, the Dolby experience, and. Um, I I choose Dolby over RPX. RPX is is, is a cl- it's, it's best because it's where we live. It's mainly Regals. Yeah. Like there's not even an AMC in sight. So I don't think there's an AMC for at least three hours. Yeah, Dolby is like twenty bucks a ticket, mm-hmm. and it's worth every single dollar, bro. Because you know so what. Good. I wish we did have around here. What? I know they have these specific movie theaters that, like, 
they have like a couch basically mm. and they'll like come serve you dinner and everything oh you don't oh yeah amc you got amc diamonds you don't have a diamond I, no i've been to it with you yeah the diamonds are okay no this is a different type of experience i think i know what you're talking about though because I've seen those types of theaters before. Like, they bring you, like, legit food food. Yeah. Like, an yeah. uh, actual meal. Yeah. Um, Guys, I have some theories. Because this video is uncut. It's just get it's just posting up just like this while she's looking that up. I have some theories about Shang-Chi towards the end, especially with the rings that ties into the Eternals. Because I think that's what it's going to go in. And the Celestials. But I'll get to that in a second. Um, but I think I know what you're talking about, though. Almost like this. Yeah, yeah. No, I know those. Yeah, I, I, yeah I've seen those. Mm -hmm. I've seen those. I haven't been to one, but I've seen those. Yeah, too. I know they have some in Texas. True. They believe in, like, real, like, five-star Michelin star meals. Yes. <laughs> Bro. It's some time in my life. <laughs> so, nah, we're gonna, we gonna, we gonna do it. Yeah. But, anyways, so, the theory I had, which I started yes. talking about in the car. That I had to stop you. I had to stop yeah. me, yeah. Because we have, we have this thing whenever we see a Marvel movie or any movie that we're going to review. We don't talk we, about yeah, it. Yeah, we don't talk yeah. about it until we, get, like, to get home. Yeah, it's usually a quiet car ride home. Yeah, usually, <laughs> to keep all the thoughts Just in Just to it. process our thoughts. Yeah, unless you do, like, an initial reaction thing. Yeah. But what I'm thinking mm -hmm. is, so in the comic books, originally, the Mandarin found the rings in... A broken down alien spacecraft mm -hmm. that was there for a long time now and he and anyway it had the souls of all these warriors in them uh -huh. so what i'm thinking is that when wong was talking at the end with everything he was like oh this you know when did you say your dad had the rings he's like oh, over a thousand years ago he's like mm -hmm. oh, well this is actually older than that yeah guess who was here before that the, the eternals, eternals. Icarus, Athena, Druig, Makari, uh, Sprite, all of them was there. I did say that I think it was tying in to Eternals mm -hmm. with all the creatures. That yeah, the creatures too. And... All those unique creatures. And yeah. The nine tailed foxes were so cute. They were so cute. They were so nice. And whatever Morris was. Yeah, whatever Morris was. <laughs> so cute. I love Morris. <laughs> Morris the chicken pig. The chi oh, yeah, my furry God. chicken pig. Furry chicken pig. Yeah. No, but also the beacon. I think what the beacons are, the thing they're actually contacting the celestials mm -hmm. to come to Earth. Now, the only reason I'm saying that is because um, why I'm thinking that is because in the Eternals comic books, which I have, which I just read actually recently on stream too, by the way. Go check it out. Go check it out. Um, <laughs> You're welcome. Three, it's three hours, but. There was sort of like a beacon that was sent to the Celestials. Mm -hmm. Because what they would do is the Celestial in the Jack Kirby stuff, the original ones, um, the Celestials would come down to us. Because basically, there were three races that were created. There were three what? Three. Oh my God, three species. Well, three races. No, I thought you said races. No, three I races. Three races. Races. I was like, why were specifically three races? No, okay. three. I can't come three with you. Version. So, Kids, I'm tired. How the story <laughs> goes, how the story goes in the comics mm -hmm. is the Celestials came to Earth. They took monkeys, took them back, analyzed the DNA, and created three new subspecies from that. Okay. Human beings, mm -hmm. the Eternals, mm -hmm. and the Deviants. Okay. So the DV, the Eternals and the Deviants and the humans are all distant cousins of each other, mm -hmm. basically. The Deviants were the first trial. They came out bad, and then every time they reproduce, they all look different. They all don't look the same. Mm -hmm. So each Deviant looks a little different than the other. Okay. Some has, like, pink skin, purple skin, whatever, whatever. Mm -hmm. And then there was the Eternals and then the humans. So the humans are kind of like a good mix between the Eternals and the uh, Deviants. And the Deviants were enslaving the humans because they were a little bit more, more powerful. Um, they were a little bit more reckless and a little bit more advanced. So they were enslaving those people. So then, you see the yawning? Yep, there's the yawning. Yeah. Yep, yep, there it is. Yeah. See, it, won't, it doesn't stop, guys. It's continuous. So the Eternals tasked the... I mean Eternals. The Celestials tasked the Eternals mm -hmm. to take care of the deviants. the deviants to protect the humans. But then again, it started getting overwhelmed because they they multiplied rapidly, mm -hmm. like super like fast, like bunnies, like mad fast. 
So then they called upon the Celestials to help them. Okay. Take care of them. So then some deviants remained and they, they hid on the ground and started building their own technology, yada, yada, yada. And we saw in the trailer that the emergence, mm-hmm. they had enough energy to bring the, the deviants to come out again. Right. So um, I can go more in detail on the Eternals because each one of them has a very cool, unique ability. You know? And they're not, they, 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 they can't really die. And if they do die, they kind of just get rebuilt. That basically. oddly enough, that's almost very similar to what happened in Shang Chi with the um the thing mm-hmm. coming out. Yep, with the things coming out of that. So I don't know if that would relate to. Would that be a deviant? I don't think they're deviants because the deviants are capable of speech, as we saw one of them. Okay. Uh, one of them was talking to Thena to Angelina's Angelina Jolie's character Thena. Okay. So I think. Uh, they're capable of speech because, like okay. I said, they they're able to at least in the comic books. We'll have to see how Chloe Zhao does it, mm-hmm. but um, at least we saw one of those deviants speaking with Thena. So in the comic books, they're all they're capable of speech, but the only down okay. So the downside of them was that um, the Eternals had a specific purpose. Mm-hmm. The deviants were more prone to go into anger, so they were more angrier. Like they were more huh? They like toddlers. Uh, yeah, but they were just more negative. Like they were, they chose violence at every turn, bro. Like sounds like a lot of people. Like they literally just wake up and choose <laughs> violence. Like, but they, whereas the humans were a perfect, a perfect balance of like making rational choices, but also being stupid at the same time. Right. Deviants were just straight up angry and just mad and chose violence. So, how this leads back to Shang Chi is while the, when the Celestials came and did their experiments, they would often come to look at earth to see if it's worth living or not if it's worth keeping alive or not so they would leave their experiments they left them there to see how things happen and they would leave one of the other celestials who was like the ju- who was like the judge jury and the executioner i keep forgetting his name he would be there he would sit there and just watch everything and see how it goes and determine whether earth was destroyed which should be destroyed or not okay i don't know how many we i think we saw him in the trailer mm-hmm. i don't know if they're going to Utilize that anyway. Right. But again, back to that end credit scene. I believe that beacon or whatever it is was calling the Celestials. Was calling the Celestials. It might have been from a broken deviant ship mm-hmm. that he found those rings from because they weren't really rings. They were part of some technology that he assumed were rings. Mm-hmm. So they were part of the craft in the comic books, at least. So we'll see how. How they do it mm-hmm. but i do believe that beacon and then like it was cool seeing captain marvel even though there's the one guy that ruined it but like it was cool seeing captain marvel because people hate her for some reason y'all get over it um she's gonna be captain america to her contract uh, captain marvel sorry until her uh c- contract ends so we'll deal mm-hmm. with it but, yeah, no, and, and mark the, ruffalo too was a great yes team. but i kind of you know i have like the science side and like the space side yes so. yes it was cool to see Wong too. Like, just I want to know what Wong was doing with Abomination, bro. Like, I want to know what he. He's just you know doing his thing. Is that his pet? Is that his friend? Like, he's training him. So right. I don't know if he just like came to him and be like, yeah, I I need help. Um. <laughs> right. I don't know what's going on with that. I don't know. We're not gonna question it. Yeah, but I do love I do love seeing all the little comic book references and everything that was like tied. To the film and just overall, just beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Where the mom lived is beautiful. Oh, that was gorgeous. Oh, it was so gorgeous, man. Those outfits, man. Like oh, their fighting are style. Fire. The dragon scale stuff. It oh, man. great. I love it. All that dragon stuff, bro. The sister, like her, and like what's going on with her and the Ten Rings at the end. Like, yeah. She's continuing it. Like, it's going to be crazy, bro. Yeah, it's going to be interesting. And, uh. Because it said the Ten Rings will continue. Mm hmm. So. I want to see how Shang Chi's role will be in the Avengers now, because him and right. Katie, are, him and Katie are gonna be like, because even she, she's she's involved in this now. Yeah, so, so I'm wondering if they're gonna show up in Doctor Strange mm-hmm. or, you know, where they're gonna show up next. Because so obviously they have they have something to do with, you know, Doctor Strange now, because you know they're connected through Wong. Mm-hmm. So, what does that mean for? You know, the upcoming film. Mm-hmm. Man, those, the Ten Rings, the way how they utilized it was just so amazing. Mm-hmm. I can't get, I'm, I'm so addicted to it. I, I was a little worried because that they weren't physical, like, rings on the finger. 
I was a little worried. I think they did it well. Yeah, they did it really well. They used it so in, in such a unique way that works. Like, and it shows that it can do different things. It can shoot. It can enhance his strength. It can, it can block bullets. Kind of propel him. Like, yeah, slow your um, your fall. fall. You can turn it into a weird yellow rasengan. rasengan. <laughs> like, you can turn it into a rasen shuriken. Like, you can use it to step on and hang in the yeah. middle of the air. Like, you saw him doing the acrobatic stuff. Like, yeah. Ah oh, man, like that's yeah, really cool, man. There's so much more to say, but it's just like a lot. Like it's just really, anything that anything that comes pop pops into your mind, feel free. To. Yeah, no, I'm just I had something that I lost it. Um, no, the um the end where he started using his mom's fighting style with the whole mm. like, bullet thing. Yeah, it's so mesmerizing. Yes, too. yes. It's just like finally he's here. Like, oh, man. I could talk about that end scene like this whole time. Mm-hmm. But... Man, I just can't get over how he just like he shot the rings into the thing. It's just like boom, yeah. and it pulled it up. Oh. That was amazing. Beautiful, bro. Beautiful. That beautiful. was. It's everything about this was like beautiful. Like this, all the shots and mm-hmm. everything. Standout scenes. Um, standout scenes for me were. The bus, mm-hmm. the bamboo scaffold yes. scene, a whole entire scene, and the last sequence when he was fighting his dad. Yes, that was beautiful. Mm-hmm. And they were, the scene where they both had the like five rings each, and yeah. they were like kind of like intertwined. Mm-hmm. And they were like pulling, like oh. yeah. Man, Simu did a great job. No, a hundred percent. An amazing job. They chose the right guy. Yeah, he, he did. did an amazing job. Mm-hmm. Like he's not young anymore. He's not young. Shang Chi. He is Shang Chi. Because at first you're like, oh man, all I see. Uh, at first you're like, is to see Jung, and then like when we were watching Kim's Convenience the other day, all I see is Shang Chi. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, he's he fits the role very well. Yes. So that's that's what I see now. Yes. Like Q. Captain America. Who? Let me stop. Those movies are great. <laughs> I don't know. I don't feel like there's been a bad Marvel movie, at least from the MCU. Yes. What? Thor The Dark World. I don't think it was horrible. No, Thor The Dark World was trash. I'm sorry. <laughs> like, Thor 1 and Thor 2 were horrible. I, I think don't think it was horrible. The only good things about those those movies, especially in the first Thor movie, is when Thor was fighting the Frost Giants. Mm-hmm. And then he pretty much wasn't Thor for the whole movie. The only good thing about it was Loki. And then the second thing in, in Thor: The Dark World, Loki. I just think Loki's a better character. And then the fight scene in, in the fight scene in um in uh in 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 uh what's it called um Asgard right mm-hmm. before his mom died. Great scene as well. But the whole thing with Malik Heath was so trash. And then. Thor, Thor Ragnarok just fixed all of that. <laughs> yeah. So, no, that one's absolutely the superior Thor movie. <laughs> you gotta admit, bro. Like, I I do think the two Thor movies are the one of the weaker ones of the of the MCU. No, I I definitely agree. They're some of the weaker ones. I don't think they're and I and Iron Man and Iron Man three, <laughs> especially with the horrible Mandarin, uh, like thing where they made a white dude. His name Pierce. What's his name, man? I forgot his name, bro. Made him the Mandarin. Yeah, <laughs> they, they put it. They put a dragon tattoo on his back, and all of a sudden he's a Mandarin now. Yeah. <laughs> okay, like okay. Yeah, Ben Kingsley play him, bro. I need Trevor Slattery. Like, oh, I didn't hate any of the MC movies though. Like I didn't like absolutely despise any of them. You honestly tell me that Thor Thor one is an amazing movie? No, it's not. <laughs> I will never say that it's an amazing movie. I think it was very boring, man. It was, but it could be worse. Like some of the scenes are are, are still funny. Like, yeah. But then it's just you know Jane I, Foster just swooning over him. I think it's more funny to me just because we do make fun of it a lot. Yeah. So like you know how back in the day, everyone is like, oh, it's still a better love story than Twilight. Yeah. We always be like, oh, it's better than Thor and Jane's relationship. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You mean better than Thor and Jane's? Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Their relationship is just yeah. Like, it was a mess. just like very sudden and like 
oh, like, I met you once. I'm in love with you. Like, yeah. what? <laughs> like, you don't know this person. Yeah. Like, I don't know. Like, those movies. And Ca- Captain Marvel was all right. It wasn't weak. It was definitely entertaining. I loved it. And it's on my list. But um, it, it, it doesn't it doesn't make my top ten, unfortunately. Yeah. Well, it might. Because some scenes were great. Mm-hmm. But it was a nice setup movie for her character. But that's the video. Those, those are videos for another time. We can go on and on. About we have very this. unpopular opinions about some of these movies, so we do, and I'm we standing should, by them. We should do a video, like we need to rewatch these movies and mm-hmm. then just kind of do like a full like one of those like um those ranking videos. Yeah, when Shang Chi drops on video on demand, and we'll rewatch do a it. whole rewatch. Yo, tell me how I got Black Widow dropped this year. Oh, shot. Lots of Marvel oh, stuff. My life. <laughs> lots and lots of Marvel stuff, man. Oh my god! Some people think Black Widow was the worst movie you've ever seen. I'm like, what? I love that movie, man. I'm like, how? <laughs> that was great. All right, but I think we're gonna wrap this one up, y'all. I think yeah. we said all we have to say. I know we're gonna think of more things to say after. At yeah, the I end. feel like we didn't really talk much about it. Like, just talked about like a few scenes, but um. Man, I feel like we talked a lot about it though. We went off on tangents of other things. We we did, but what more can we say though that we left out? Did we forget um, any major scenes? I feel like we talked about the main scene. The major like, scene. The mom and everything were great. Yeah. Um, oh, one, oh, something I did say I was going to mention was um, how they had him learning English. Yes. How they started ch- yeah, so teaching makes, the English. It makes sense, you know. How he can speak perfect English. Right. So that was a good Where he, he also was, like, in the U.S. for, like, what, 10 years or yeah. something like that as well. Yeah. So it does make sense still. And it was cool uh, seeing the Ten Rings organization for a bit. How it was, how it was, uh, how it was operating, mm-hmm. base of operation. Actually, get a legit Ten Rings thing. So that was pretty dope. Yeah, no, it had, but this also had a good mix of like comedy and seriousness too. Yeah. Like, okay. Then the, one more thing I want to talk about before you know we wrap this up. Um, before they like. Like, um, his dad, like, pushed him into the water and everything. That aggression. That was, like, some of the best acting in the oh, movie. Oh, bro. That, okay, that fight, too, though. Yeah. That whole fight with the staff and the what? Mm-hmm. Bruh. No, man. That scene was so well done. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Everything, every scene with the rings, man. Ah, I just can't wait to see those rings again. Yeah. No. In the future of the MCU and how it's actually used. Ah. I want it to become as iconic as Cap Shield. Yes. Yes. I, I do. I, I just want that. I can already see the cosplay. I can already see Law with the rings on his hand. Like yeah. Mandarin. <laughs> I can already see it, bro. Like, I can't wait to see him and Katie do some more things together. Mm-hmm. Can we get a series so we can see more? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> Disney Plus series, please? No, let's just do it. Like, why not? Six episodes? <laughs> hour long each? It'd be great. I don't know if they can afford it, but all the, all know, the, but... All the Morrises. <laughs> all the Morrises. Oh, my God. Some of those... Can we talk about that one, like, horse-looking thing? <laughs> <laughs> it's just... Let's see. He was like... <laughs> he was like... <laughs> He's on his morning stroll, like. Like, um, did I ask for you to interrupt me, sir? <laughs> Shoot, bro, that was. <laughs> is the thing named Morris though? The little thing. Yeah, it is Morris, yeah, right? Morris. Okay. Oh my lord, bro! Yo, the scene where he was like acting when he's pretending to be dead. <laughs> Oh, Mario, man, and then he was just like, oh, okay, flop, and just flops on his back. Yeah. I can't. <laughs> like, that's going to protect you from getting your soul eaten. Right. But somehow it did. Because it's not focusing on yeah. it. You're focusing on movement. I think you might have realized that. Yeah. <laughs> but still. Oh, my God, man. Oh, man. Okay. It was It was, It was. was good. It was a good movie. It was a great movie. Yes. Definitely one on tangents. Lots of them, but it's But okay. it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Um, I gotta go and edit these. I'm gonna be up till twelve. Gotta Woo-hoo. love it. Woo-hoo. You know, but I can't wait to see what 
they do with Shang Chi and the future of the MCU. It's looking yeah. bright. I'm loving this new phase and how the multiverse plays on all of this. And yeah, it didn't have anything to do with this one, but no. definitely, we're definitely moving there. I think No Way Home is probably gonna be the first. Yeah, loved his suit by the way. What Shang, Shang Chi's suit was great. Oh, yeah, beautiful. Yeah, for sure. And now the knowledge that it's like dragon scale. Yeah, right. Like, dragon scale. Really cool. Ah, beautiful. But yeah. Maybe we just thought it was like a cool design, but no, it's like no, it's practical. Tra- actually <laughs> practical. So. Fucking dragon skin. Mm-hmm, man. mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah. But um, but yeah, nah. Okay. I think I think we're gonna wrap this one up, y'all. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I appreciate it. Um, I'm, I'm pretty. Just let's keep the conversation going in the comments, y'all. Any theories, any things you have, leave it down below. I want to hear your thoughts on Shang-Chi and the future of the MCU. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to check out channel, Shannon's channel down below. I'm tired, Shannon y'all. I'm tired. I'm, I'm tired. Check out her channel down below. And we'll see you guys. Uh, yeah. Clockmaster and... Cosmic Finks. Out. Thank you, first. <laughs>